Let's proceed to the trigonometric integrals. So this is the trigonometric integrals. We have the integral of sine x dx that is equivalent to negative cosine x plus c of course. The integral of cosine x dx that is equivalent to sine x again with plus c. The integral of second squared x dx is equivalent to tangent x plus c. The integral of cosecant squared x dx that is equivalent to negative cotangent x plus c. And if we have the integral of second x tangent x dx that is second x plus c. Finally, we have the integral of cosecant x cotangent x dx that is equivalent to negative cosecant x plus c. Where did I get this? So basically, this is the reverse of the differential trigonometric function. How about taking the derivative of sine x? Okay, so the derivative of sine x, that is cosine x dx. The derivative of cosine x, that is negative sine x dx the derivative of tangent x that is second squared x dx the derivative of let's have cotangent x that is negative cos second squared x dx how about the derivative of second x that is second x tangent x dx and the derivative of cosecant x we have negative cosecant x cotangent x dx so notice the formula from the derivative so basically we have just evaluated this part right here. Integral, 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 integral. So we have deleted the differential right here. Okay, and then we add plus c, plus c, plus c. Plus C, plus C, plus C. The negative side, divide both sides with negative 1 over negative 1. That is why we have a negative cosine. For this one, it will be transferred to cotangent. For this one, it will be transferred to cosine. So, this is the trick in order for us to memorize. So, all the results from the derivative, if we take the integral of that one, we will go back to the original function. Okay? So, we have these formulas. Kindly memorize all the formulas. You could easily memorize this one because you have already memorized the differential part. So, it is simply the reverse of the differential trigonometric function okay let's start integral of 3 second x tangent x minus 5 cosecant squared x dx okay separated with minus we've we've already known the general theorems we will be distributing the integral symbol to each of the terms so we now have integral of 3, second x, tangent x, dx, minus integral of 5, cosecant squared x, dx. Constants, 3 and 5, could be written outside the integral symbol. Second x, tangent x, dx, minus 5, integral of cosecant squared x, dx. Okay, luckily we have the formulas right here. We could easily check 
where is second x tangent x and dx so that is equivalent to second x plus c and we have second squared that is equivalent to negative cotangent okay let's have three second tangent second tangent that is second x minus five second squared second squared negative cotangent x and the plus c of course for the final answer so we now have three second x negative times negative we have positive five cotangent x plus c our final answer we have the integral of two cotangent x minus three sine squared x over sine x dx notice again this is not part in the general rules there's no division symbol in our general rules so what shall we do okay so we will try to split this one to all the terms recalling algebra if we have a plus b all over with c that is equivalent to a over c plus b over c so we have split the denominator we could also do that here integral of cotangent x over sine x minus 3 sine squared x over sine x dx all we did is just split the denominator to the two terms we now have the integral of let's factor out 2 cotangent x over sine x and we have the dx minus 3 integral of sine squared x over sine x dx notice we could cancel one value of the sine x and how about this one if we take the reciprocal of sine x recalling trigo that cosecant x is 1 over sine x so we now have 2 cotangent x we have 1 over sine x dx minus or let's just write the dx outside dx 3 integral of sine x dx 1 over sine x that is equivalent to cosecant so we have 2 cotangent x cosecant x dx minus 3 integral of sine x dx okay cotangent cosecant if we rewrite this one this is now the same with this one 2 integral of cosecant x cotangent x dx minus 3 integral of sine x dx now this one is equivalent to negative cosecant x and integral of sine x dx is equivalent to negative cosine so now have 2 integral of this one is negative cosecant x minus 3 and this is negative cosine x plus c we now have our final answer negative 2 cosecant x negative times negative positive 3 cosine x plus c okay now let's have number 3 integral of the tangent squared x plus cotangent squared x plus 4 dx So the first part or the first thing that we will be doing is distributing the integral symbol because there are obvious operation of plus and plus right here. So we now have the integral of the tangent squared x 
plus and third and the dx of course plus integral of cotangent squared x dx plus we have the last one integral of 4 dx okay now if you look at the formula there's no tangent squared sine cosine second squared cos second squared we have a tangent but it is paired with second and we also have cotangent but it is paired with cosecant so what shall we do we don't have tangent squared and we don't have cotangent squared okay so what shall we do is that we will be recalling our identities the formula that we will be uh, using is the Pythagorean relation identity of the Pythagorean relation 1 plus tangent squared x that is equivalent to second squared x okay so we will be transposing one to the other side so tangent squared x is second squared x minus one so this is for the tangent and for the cotangent we have the cotangent squared x plus one that is equivalent to cosecant squared x transposing this one to the other side of the equation we have cotangent squared x that is cosecant squared x minus one so you will be using this one for the cotangent side okay so let's try integral of the tangent equivalent to second squared x minus 1 dx plus for the equivalent of cotangent cosecant squared x minus 1 dx and we also have the integral of we could factor out 4 dx okay now look at the two integrals we have a function that is separated with minus we could still distribute the integral symbol and the dx and the integral of second squared x dx minus the integral of dx plus the integral of cosecant squared x dx minus the integral of dx plus 4 integral of dx okay next let's look at the formulas do we have second squared that is equivalent to tangent do we have cosecant squared that is equivalent to cotangent so we could now solve the problem so the second squared is equivalent to tangent minus the integral of dx will just cancel so that is x cancel the derivative or integral symbol plus cosecant squared negative cotangent minus the integral of dx we have again x plus 4 the integral of dx is x let's see look what we have right here we can simplify tangent x minus cotangent x negative x negative x negative 2x plus 4x plus c we have tangent x minus cotangent x negative 2x plus 4x so we have positive 2x let's see our final answer okay sine x over cosine squared x dx so what shall we do in this type of the example all we need to do is try to find the relation between numerator and denominator sine and cosine sine over cosine if we recall 
the identity sine over cosine that is tangent x so if we separate sine x over cosine x and we have two values of the cosine so we have one for the numerator and cosine x dx sine over cosine that is tangent how about one over cosine so that is equivalent to second x one over cosine x so we now have equivalent to tangent x and we have also equivalent to second x dx rewriting second x tangent x dx so we have an integral form second x tangent x that is equivalent to second x so this is second x